Hello, welcome back to the next section of the Extraordinary Women Project. So today we're going to be learning about Wilma Rudolph. This is Wilma here. So Wilma is an athlete. She was from the United States of America. She was born in June 1940 and died in, no in November 1994. So long ago before the vaccine for polio was discovered, children were not protected against this terrible disease. Wilma was a little child when she contracted polio and was left with a paralysed leg. I'm not sure she's ever going to walk again, said the doctor. You will walk again, honey, I promise, whispered Wilma's mum. Every week, her mum took Wilma to the city for treatment. Every day, her 21 brothers and sisters took turns in massaging her weak leg. Wilma had to use braces to walk and the mean kids in the neighbourhood would make fun of her. Sometimes when her parents were not home, she tried to walk without braces. It was hard, but Wilma slowly got stronger. By the time she was nine, her mum's promise came true. Wilma could walk by herself. She even started playing basketball. She loved jumping and running and she did not think twice when her coach asked her if she wanted to join the track team. Wilma completed 20 races and won every one of them. I don't know why I run so fast, I said. She said, I just run. Wilma became the fastest woman in the world, bringing great joy to her family and to her country. She broke three world records in the 1960 Olympics. Wilma always said that the key to winning was knowing how to lose. Nobody wins all the time. If you can pick up after a crushing defeat and go on to win again, you're going to be a champion someday. So that was Wilma. And Wilma's quote was, My doctors told me I would never walk again. My mother told me I would. And I believe my mother. So find today's activity in the comments below. Thank you.